Hi students, this is Alex here. Exercise 7.3, question number 4. Using Lagrange's mean value theorem, determine the values of x at which the tangent is parallel to the secant line at the endpoints of the given interval. So, the two meaning of Lagrange's mean value theorem is tangent parallel to the secant of the end. Okay, first subdivision is f of x. This is a polynomial function. Polynomial function in the given interval continuous r. In the value of f of x is value exist. So, we have direct f of x is continuous in closed interval minus 2, 2. But the difference is long. So, f of x is differentiable in open interval open interval is minus 2, 2 now we have f of a we have the interval of first value is minus 2 that is a so minus 2 whole cube minus 3 into minus 2 plus 2 total is minus 8 plus 6 plus 2 the value is 0 f of b is f of 2 2 cube minus 3 into 2 plus 2 this is the value 8 minus 6 plus 2 so this is the total 2 plus 2 4 now we have f dash of x f dash of x is the f of x differentiate 3x square minus 3 this is in terms of c then f dash of c is the number 3c square minus 3 f dash of c is the formula f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a if we have interval minus 2 comma 2 then it is f of 2 minus f of minus 2 whole divided by 2 minus of minus 2 so a can become value substitute but already we have f of 2 f of 2 is here so this is 4 then f of 2 so the 4 is substitute minus of 0 divided by the plus side of 4 but total 3c square minus 3 equal to 4 by 4 1 3c square is equal to the minus 3 and the 4 then c square is equal to 4 by 3 c is equal to plus or minus root 4 by 3 then we c equal to plus or minus 2 by root 3 then we have two operations one is minus 2 by root 3 and one is 2 by root 3 now this is given interval minus 2 comma 2 if we divided by root 3 and we have some negative value but this is minus 2 comma 2 so this value is all that that is the same this is belong to minus 2 comma 2 so that is why we have two values so we have combined the first value we have combined plus or minus 2 by root 3 belong to open interval minus 2 comma 2 so question will be find the value of x and c will be the same plus or minus 2 by root 3 subdivision 2 we will have factors we will expand so x will be x square minus 7x minus 2x total minus 9x plus 2 minus 2 plus 3 so we will have factors minus 2 minus 2 x total minus 9x plus 14 this is a polynomial function. That's why we have direct f of x is continuous. Continuous in closed interval 3,11. That's why the differential will be and all values exist between 3 and 11. All values exist. That's why f of x is is differentiable in open interval. If the polynomial function of the interval is continuous and differentiable, it will be direct. In open interval, 3,11. If we add f of a, so f of a is f of 3. If we add 3 square 
minus 9 into 3 plus 14. If it is on the 9 minus 18 plus sorry 9 minus 27 plus 14. Here it is on the 23. Then now 23 minus 27 of dinner minus 4. If f of b on the f of 11. This is on the 11 square minus 9 into 11 plus 14. This is 121 minus 99 plus 14. This is 135 minus 99. This is subtract from number 36. Now, we will do f dash of x. So, f dash of x is the difference between 2x minus 9. This is x square minus 9x plus 14, 2x minus 9. This is the same as c. f dash of c is 2c minus 9. Now, the Lagrange is mean value theorem. f dash of c is f of b minus f of a folded by b minus a. If a b is 11, a is 3 folded by 11 minus 3. F of 11, 130, sorry, F of 11, 36, minus F of 3, 4, minus 4. Then plus 4, divided by, this is 8. Now, direct, here is 2C minus 9 equal to, so the value equate equate. 40 by 8. So, 8 by 40. Now, 2C minus 9 equal to 5, right? 2c equal to 9 plus 5, 14. c is equal to 7. This one belongs to the interval 3,11. That is why the c value. That is c or x are the same. Tangent is the parallel to the secant line. So, the value is the value where the tangent is parallel to the secant. C is equal to 7. That is the interval. Now, 